Hey everyone, welcome back to Fisher Family Adventures. I'm your host Brendan and I live down here in Southwest Florida year round. It's been a busy couple weeks and the bite has been really, really strong. Today we are headed offshore into the deep blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. I'm trying out a new electric reel and couldn't think of a better way to do it than to head 80 miles offshore with Captain Bob from Gulf Bound Charters. We are targeting African Pompano, Snapper, and Grouper. Gulf Bound Charters runs out of Salty Sam's Marina in Fort Myers Beach. I'll put a link in the description to his business and give him a call if you're in the area and you want to head offshore. Yeah. Spot tail's running. There we go. It's going down. I'm cracking. Oh, he came off. That was a big, big hit though on that live grunt. Someone to eat this grunt. Big fish. Big fish try to eat this. Is that a little chargeable electric thing? There you go. Coming off the bottom. I got him. Oh, he's pulling drag now. Yo, this is a really good grouper. I mean, he's coming up whatever he is. Look at the pulling drag, 150 feet to go. We're about halfway on the PC fun cracking. Hundred feet to go. He's pulling drag, man. He's halfway up. Come on, stay glued, baby. Stay glued. And I can net it myself with the electric. Isn't that great? Last fish. There might be more down there. He's coming up. Oh, that's a monster grouper. That's a monster red grouper. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Hell yeah. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the portable electric. Dude, that is a man group. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah. Damn, it's not I wanted to start off this video with this 35 inch grouper I caught on the Kraken, one of the biggest I've caught this year. All right guys, I got something really cool that I want to show you today. This is the Kraken PC Fun electric reel and it's definitely one of my favorite reels that's on the market right now. So I've had a chance to fish this on numerous occasions and fished it the all day, hundreds and hundreds of drops, and it still had 80% battery life left on it. Plus, it's also got the power, it's got 33 pounds of max drag, and it can hold a ton of line, up to 545 yards of 40 pound braid. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on and check it out. So, the battery pack right here that comes with it, you can see that, I have it in its case, fits right into the electric reel slot. All right, now we've got it in. It's turned on, and if you look on the left here, this is the drag setting. So you can go up and down based on how fast you want to retrieve the line. It's got our reset button here to kind of tear it out and bring it back to zero. And then if you press pickup, it'll start winding line. And on the left here, you've got your drag setting. I've got mine cranked pretty tight here because we catch some pretty big fish here out here in the Gulf of Mexico, but you can loosen it if you want to play the fish a little looser or say you're trolling. Then you've got your manual handle here. Now I'm a lefty, so don't make fun of me for that, but I'm real lefty and can come in a right hand as well. 
Then, this is how you let line out. Right here is a little clicker on the bottom. Let's go check it out and fish with it. If you guys are interested in purchasing this electric reel, I'll put a link in the description and use code FISHER15 for 15% 15 off. Oh, you use the two chicken rings? Okay. Yeah, we're doing the double chicken rings. Uh, that makes with, sense. With both pieces of bait. And usually what we do is we do that because say they're in the mood for uh, the squid, they'll grab all the squid and then they'll we'll come up with red fin. We're like, all right, cool. Uh, time to just switch over to all squid. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of times they like, just like the thread. <laughs> it's... Uh, Eventually the big grouper will grab the squid and you should always have the squid out. My problem with squid is I get too many shorts on it. Like the, the big ones usually bite the thread, if you ask me. And you're breaking your back straight up. In short yeah. shorts, you just drive around with them for a while. And you're, uh, all right, so you let that go. Yep. Going down. You move down the bottom. What are we, 130? First drop. The PC phone. Down bottom. There's a fish. This thing's stalling out the electric. I could pump up the speed on it. Yeah, on the electric. Whoa. Did you just get heated? I don't know. Is this the battery for it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's way smaller than I thought. I'm under the boat or something, or he's coming at me. It just took like 400 yards of line. Or not 400 yards, like 50 yards. He's coming up now, though. Hold on, I think I'm on someone now. It went, it went slack or he came off, or I don't know. Yeah, I think he came off. Yeah. I might have broken off. Are you missing your front guide? This is a big fish, whatever you got. Oh yeah. Look at that baby, huh? I think you might have a bigger one here. <laughs> I don't want to cap, right? Hi, you got it. I got it. Right. Big AP? Oh, you got two?
Two APs in one drop? Yep. Wow, hold on. That's impressive. Two on one, a double hook. That's cool. You're going out this way. Did he hit you on the way down or something? He's going towards the engines, Bob. Yeah, Bob, he's going towards the engines. Let me come under you. Here, you gotta you got pick the rod and move that way. Here, come, under, come around me. Why? You're near the motors. Yeah, I'm out of here. Okay. Here, can you go around the motors? You might be. Yeah, it helps people. You were the one store, not me. He's not supposed to be waking up for another 40 minutes. I should still be in bed. Ooh, is that an AP? Yeah. Looks like a good one, right? Or I don't know. No. Same size. AJ? Same size AP. Yeah. I'll wait till you catch him to drop. Oh! There we go. I know, that's where the bigger ones are. Oh, that's a good fish. Jeez. Oh, that's, that's a good fish. This is a good one, Bob. He's taking drag. Taking drag. Whoa! You're almost there, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is like the an hour of fishing. You got a really good fish on. I see him down there. See him? Yeah. How high off the bottom were you? On the bottom. Wow. Oh, here we go. All right, everyone up. I'm up. Uh, we're we're tripled up right now. I'm not going to drop then. Keep him coming. Where, where's that gaff at? Where's the gaff at, Bob? Yeah, there it is. I think we might have a gaffer here. That looks like a real one if that's an AP. Yeah. I can grab most of them. All right. I try not to gaff them anymore. It looks like a big fish, right? I Are you wrapped tell. around his? Do you feel hers? Okay. Is that a better one? No. No. Never mind. Same exact size. Oh, maybe. Actually, I'm gonna measure it because it looks it looks like it might be a couple inches longer than it. Well it doesn't have the sickles anymore, so. That's a real one. Whatever it is. Like going out or in? Yeah. Alright. Take him. I see him down there, yeah. See Skyler? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good inch longer. Can't tell. Oh no, it's tail wrapped. Oh, that's why. Tail wrapped. Actually, no, it does look a little bit bigger. Tail wrapped AP? Yeah, no, it is bigger. That's a meteor one right there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely meteor. Oh, wow. That's a big boy. Oh, look at that. There's a fish. There's some real ones here. We just gotta catch them. What? No, is it big? Oh. I'm almost at mine. I hope we don't get tangled. I'm almost here. 
I'm, my drag isn't too tight because I don't want to pull any of these fish off. I pulled one off already. Oh, I'm on you, that's what it is. Here. Here, come, come over me, come over me. There he is. Small. Well, if it's got the sickles. Sorry. Away from the motor. Just want to throw them away. There you go. Hold it up. <laughs> nice African pompadour. This thing is not happy it's hooked. Whatever this is. Yeah, he, he's got a one-way ticket to the surface and he's not happy. I tightened my drag up though. Man, he's ripping drag out of here. I think it's a nor another normal size AP, but it could be bigger. And he's just not happy. He's feisty. We got a guy that brings a Dyla keyboard and um, and he holds it like this and the keyboard is a really strong um, uh, like electric reel and he'll you know, hook up with like a 400 pound shark. And, yeah. Sure. Another AP. That's a nice one. You have a belt part. Oh, that's why he was fighting. But he has. Is this a bigger AP or is it an EJ? That's an AP. Yeah, the head shake. just going like this. Why, why? No, no stopping. Don't let it loose. I'll make the swim home. Yeah. <laughs> You're not losing this 35 inch I'll, AP. I'll, I'll find a buoy and just put you up. No, we'll leave him at the L Tower. You can sit on the tower and sit in the horn all night. Come on, you got this. Keep reeling. about that isn't he? Is it a pump? Is that a bigger one? Yeah that's a bigger one. Eh? Yeah. They're deceiving at first when they come up aren't they? Yeah. A couple times I'm like oh it's like a it's like it'll be a lot. Nice yellow tail. You cut on like a 7 0 hook, too. Whoa, there we go. That's what I'm trying to figure out, to be honest. That was the quickest AP I've ever caught. <laughs> he stayed glued. I can't believe that. Well, look where, how you hooked him. Yeah. You still got a lot of energy. Look him around. That was a tiny one, too. That makes sense. Nice barely, African pompano. Barely hooked. No way, really? Yeah. Is that we've, the one I just caught? I mean, we've caught it, uh, I don't know. It's the same size as the others. But That's yeah. incredible. We're all back. Uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're on a strike line spot right now. Look at that, right on strike lines.
Captain Bob uses strike on Southwest Florida hard bottom HD chart just like I do. If you're interested in learning more, click the link in the description and use code FFA10 for 10% off. Got another fish on? Yeah. Another tail? Yeah. It might be an Amico. It's What is that? Is that an Amico? What is that? Is that an ARS? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's a mang. A big mang. Yeah. Oh, nice mang. Nice mang. Nice mangrove. Hold that one up. Test. Nice mangrove snapper. What do you got on snapper? I mean, you got a lot of these pumping on today. You're open for a smaller one. And then, you know, for something your mind will start playing tricks on you too, because you'll be like, oh, that was it. And then you're looking, you're like, ah. Oh. All right, friend. Another AP? So pick that up a, a quarter. Uh, all right, that's fine. There you go. Keep going. How do you like that holder? I love it. <laughs> We're going to put you on the electric soon. I normally wouldn't do the electric, but. Put it in that holder. <laughs> oh, that, that's even <laughs> double the easiness, right? Oh, Safe release. That's a perfect release. Oh, come on. Go get You live next door to Daryl. They're all laughing. He's Alex's boyfriend. Is this a red or what? What do you think this is? Uh, just, it's so you could just yeah. swing it towards me? Oh, double up. Yeah, double, double. Look at that shit. Is that a shark? Oh, no. Nice red. Good job, bud. You were lazy, too. I didn't. I didn't. You were sitting on it? Tiny grouper. She got a big red grouper on. Wind down, wind, 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 wind. Pump and reel him. Uh, ready? Oh, look at him dig it. <laughs> there's, there's a 30. Wind, wind, wind. There's a 30. Really? Yeah, there's a 30 inch here. You getting bit? <laughs> This was a really big American red snapper for 120 feet of water. Unfortunately, they're out of season, so it had to go back.
Yeah, I'm hooked up. See something under the boat? Double on the smalls. There we go. Tiny one. Trigger? Yeah, they're in season. I'm all, I think they are too, yeah. Another lane. Yeah, this is good bottom. I'm thinking um, you should move like 50 feet to either side though. See if there's any bigger ones. Going back. So they call them the trigger because you can't push this Whoa, down. Can't push down the trigger, right? Pops. That was a good one. That was a good one. There's a keeper down there. Oh, look at that. I had a good one on, but he's not on anymore. There's a, there's a big one down there of something. Who knows if it's a grouper or an ARS though. You said we're dropping again? Yeah, I had a I had a big fish on for like 15 seconds. Oh, another trigger? I don't know if this one will keep. There's his teeth. Yeah, that's a nice trigger fish. Well done. Look at that. Is it a good fish? Or are you just pulling against the boat? I think I have a tail wrapped. You foul, you foul hooked a grouper. That's a tuna tail. What did I catch? You tail hooked a grouper. I just felt a, a hard tail. A tail beat? I don't know. Get the gap. Where are we at, Cap? It's swimming up. Trigger. He might keep though. Budget tuna. All right. Well, I think I know what we'll do then. Right? We're on this piece of our bottom. We just move off. There's another piece over here. Move off that. Maybe find another keeper or two. Or go like on this edge. You know what I mean? Like play around with it. How far out are we? Is it a good one? Oh, that's a decent one. That'll keep. Yeah, that'll keep. Keep your rod that way. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're good. You're good. Now bring it to me. It's a keeper. Oh yeah. All day. Yeah. Huh. I'll keep. Lane. Wait a sec for yeah. bait. It's cutting more. Small red grouper. That's what I have, yeah. I'd love to know. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes. Yeah. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, because their batteries are right on the bottom. This is the cable, so you can actually plug this right in to the electric reel too. But it has a cable. Oh yeah, so. it sticks straight out the back. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, this doesn't want to come undone. All right. <laughs> there we go. Eighty percent. Come on. Bob wins. You said sixty. Eighty. Yeah. Wow. You see that? After all day of fishing, it's at 80%. We had a really nice haul of fish for the day, and then Captain Mark is gonna show us how he fillets his African pompano. Got a snapper carcass here. We're gonna feed it to the tarpon. Oh, he's fighting. He got it. <laughs> yeah. Those yeah, 50, 60 pounders. Are you gonna? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come for it. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that, buddy. Come on. Got him. Come on. There we go. That was a good one. There we go. It's the only way to do it. You like cutting them down the middle? Yeah, it, uh, their large backbone is nearly to impossible to roll the knife in. Mm. And if you don't split it in two, you'll miss a lot of meat. Lots of meat in the head, I bet. This is the, this is the best piece of meat right here. Really? This is like the cheek of a grouper or anything like that. It is so tender. Well, taking them home. It is a nice, once you get used to it, nice and easy fish to cut. But that learning curve sucks. That's a nice cut right there. Right against their ribs. It's uh, these big bones really suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that big backbone. So there's no meat around here? It's summer. just a thin piece of bones with skin and mm -hmm. uh, it's uh that's that's all that guts. It's uh you can if you're really picky and you want to take every single piece, you can, but you're eating around bones the whole time. It's it's not I don't know, we cut all the bones out so people don't get hurt. It's uh mm -hmm. giving customers bone uh fish meat and uh with bones in it is never good. Nope. Now I've taken these to the grill, and you cook the whole thing and you pick it apart like a rotisserie chicken, mm -hmm. and it's fantastic. That sounds nice. Yeah, because each individual, like, uh, bone that goes from their spine up, 
there's meat in between that you can't really get uh, without cooking it on a grill. There you go. We've done the collar on groupers. I wonder if there's meat on the collar of an AP. Oh, there is. Yeah, no, there's a lot of meat down here. It's just like you got to pick around fins and bones yeah. and it's, it's uh, time consuming. It's just uh, when you get off a 12 hour boat, and sometimes this, this thing is filled to the absolute brim with fish. Mm -hmm. I can't be, uh, I can be picky, but sometimes customers are here for two hours of me just filleting in there. <laughs> they get a little, a little impatient. I bet. I don't know what to tell them. Like, hey, sorry, you caught a lot of fish and uh, I, I can only work so fast. How many of you filleted this year, you think? 50? We've probably done probably a good 40. Um, we've probably done a good 20 trips, and it's two a trip. We've never gone back with less than two. Well, we've never gone over two, but uh, we always get our limit. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, having those, those numbers really help. I wish these guys were just a little closer. Uh -huh. Going out 80 miles, 70 miles. They're gorgeous fish. They're really rare. Oh, I'm, so. I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful we got them. It's uh. uh -huh. Hey, get out of here! What were they doing? They were trying to get under the dock. They're being aggressive. Some nice birds. Birds. I like feeding them. There's a knee get that leg will sometimes stand right next to me. So yeah. Peck at my leg. And I don't mind it because it's just a little soft peck. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he's a pretty chill little, little bird. say this. I only start, recently started wearing a fillet glove and it, boy does it make a difference. I definitely wear mine every time. I, I didn't wear it for years and uh, I went home. I was afraid I was gonna go home with less fingers one one of these days and uh, <laughs> I found out I found this Rapala glove um, or as <laughs> some people say Rapala. Uh, can you wash it in the uh, washing machine? <laughs> well, there you go. We got all the meat off of it. Not too shabby. All right, we're gonna flip our fish. African pompano is delicious. It's a nice, tender, juicy, white meat fish. Comes out really well. Right, we gotta flip, give it another couple minutes, and then we'll put it in the oven. All right, let's go ahead and put our fish in the oven. It's been a couple minutes. We'll check back. Check back in a little bit. About ten minutes. All right, let's go ahead and check our fish. See if it's done. Grab a fork. It smells delicious. Oh yeah, these smaller pieces are definitely done, and the bigger one as well. So, we're gonna go ahead and plate it, and eat it. That looks great. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and taste our fish. Ooh, that's hot. That's really, really good. I love the seasoning, and when you bake it all the way through in the oven, it comes out perfect.
Mm. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday when I put up my next video.